Hey y'all, Biohack here, time for another live arena video. Before we jump into that though, I have a few things I need to do. Uh, I have some of these prism charts. Got what, two poles worth? Figure might as well pull them. I'm not gonna make a separate video just to do pull, two poles. We got some of these from Sand Devil and we got some from the Dragon turn attack. Uh, I actually got a Ragash doing this in one of these videos. So you never know, let's, uh, let's see if we can get lucky. We have a 5% chance at a legendary. Obviously Mercy doesn't apply. Uh, we have a Sir Artemage that is, I believe, a dupe. I'm pretty sure I have one of him. All right, let's go again. Come on, show me the gold. Ooh. To Hawk the Wonder. All right, well, that's fine. Would have been great to get Nurga Anante, uh, the archer. Uh, but I don't know. Honestly, everything else in here, I mean, these are all... This was, Countess Lix was a fusion. I was going to say they're all previous guarantees or fusions, but I guess that's not true. Islin was, Wella was, so I have those. I have two copies of Countess Lix. I got a Teodor. I don't have Snick Track, but the only ones that wouldn't be dupes would be Snick Track and Nergenante. Although, honestly, I care more about getting dupes to Max Faction Guardians than I do about getting new champions. All right, let's go ahead and claim this stuff real quick. I've been farming a ton of dragon during the 3X. I love to just go ham whenever these are up. Um, particularly, like, obviously I want the gear for sure. And it's always good to try and get uh, new gear improvements. But I also lo love that I can farm XP and dragon very easily. I did, can run it on auto overnight with like RSL helper, unlike say spider where I need team presets. My dragon team can run with no presets, which means I can farm food overnight, which is really nice because I've been trying to get everything maxed up for City of Centranos, uh, which has been really good. I've made like no progress on this Monster Hunter Path event precisely because I have been leveling up all my like five star and six stars. So I haven't been getting much uh, points for it, but either way, it's fine. All right. The other thing I wanted to do is I picked up a couple of pieces. So we've got some big, big rerolls to do. Let's see if I can find the piece. What did we get? Check this guy out. All right. Right here. Ready? Bam. We got a quad speed shield earlier today. So we're definitely going to go rework this guy. And fingers crossed we can get the speed roll. It would be amazing. I don't have any quad speeds for shield. I have helmet and chest. And that's it. HP, crit rate, defense percent. Oh, that's not what we wanted. That's what we started with. Uh, is this thing even worth keeping? Probably not, to be honest. If it like at least had some like speed or accuracy and other stats on it, maybe. Ah, oh, bummer. What can you do? What can you do? That's definitely a very useful thing to do with Chaos Orb, but um, it is what it is. I think we have like a one in seven chance. There's another piece we need to reroll. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's actually in shield. Check this guy out. Where is it? Right here. We got a quad glove in shield. Now, one of the things I've mentioned a few times in videos, but uh, you know, if you if you didn't weren't here for that, you might not know. One of the ways to get the fastest build you can is running five set protection. Now, in an ideal perfect world, you run five set protection with three protection accessories, two protection artifacts, and two speed sets. That gets you the highest possible speed you can get in the game. However, running three protection accessories requires that you have a good protection banner with speed on it, which is gonna be kind of rare. Like even just getting a banner is kind of rare. Like I don't even have a banner. Uh, like, I don't know if I have any factions with three protection accessories. My banner lords, I have two on my Kaja, but I've never been able to get a banner for her. And even if I did, not only do you have to get the banner, but you also need to get like at least kind of two rolls into speed to make it equivalent to a triple roll of, uh, you know, some other set. So moral of the story is one of the most common things you might find yourself running into is getting a five set protection by running two accessories, three artifacts, and then one speed set and then one off meta set, right? That gets you the same as running three speed sets. And what that means is if you can get a quad roll in speed for something like an offset, it can actually fit in and be in your fastest champion build because you need to run a three piece protection. If we look at my Kaja right now, she's running in this bolster 
helmet with this quad speed on it. And because it, because it doesn't make any difference, right? I need to run these three protection accessories with these two, or with these three protection artifacts with these two protection accessories to get the five set bonus. And then we have the speed set bonus and now we have the extra one. So moral of the story is, is if I can roll this into quad speed, I can swap this boot or I can swap this glove out and then I can put the quad speed, divine speed helmet in for this one and move it off my arbiter. So we're reworking this as well. And I'm actually just any six star legendary. I always try and roll it quad so that I can get quad speed on it because it might be actually on my fastest champion if, um, if I'm doing that five set bonus. All right, here we go. Let's throw it in. Fingers crossed. We want a good subset. HP percent. Yes. Give me the speed. Give me the speed. Oh, accuracy. Oh. Dude, if we got HP percent with speed, that would have been glorious um, because we really, really want that uh, that HP percent. Honestly, I don't even know if this thing is worth keeping. I'll, I'll probably keep it. It's not very good because it doesn't have speed or defense or anything really else on it. Um, if we have HP main stat, we're, we're going to want... Like, crit rate is useless. Crit damage is useless. We're never going to put this on a champion that does damage with these other substats. So, this is kind of lame. It's a pretty bad piece. But... It could go on some random Centrano's champion that we're just trying to max HP on for the shield. I think it is the only, that's a five star. Yeah, I think it's the only like six star HP shield glove I have that's not on something else. Of course I have bolster and I have more that are equipped on other champions, um, you know, like this kind of thing. But yeah, we'll keep it anyway, just for City of Centrano's. Bummer, that would have been great. All right, let's queue up for the fights. I am currently ranked 139, so we're still in the top 140 with 4,731 points. Hopefully the queue times are pretty friendly to us today. Uh, I really want to pick up that um, Mythical Chaos Ore from the Nergonante, what do they call them, Titan Path or whatever, Lunar Path event that they're calling it right now, the one that gives you the, sp um, the soul, because... I have a couple of quad speeds that are mythical that I want, or quad rolled pieces of gear in the speed set that are mythical that I want to reroll. All right, A W B. He runs a reset Kaimar, so that's good to know. Um, I'm gonna open Warlord. Whenever I see someone run a reset Kaimar, it's kind of nice because it means that if you just ban the Kaimar, uh, they usually don't ban the Warlord and end up with their whole team getting locked out. So we'll see if he does that. We'll do our sort of standard um, Quintus, not Quintus, Georgia situation here. Uh, known nukers that he uses are Wukong, Harima. So I have Duchess. Mikage, Wukong, Harima, Kaimar. I think we might as well go fully here. I'm a little tempted if he goes for the Kaimar to ban the Harima and then just block revive the, the Wukong. But that could be a little bit of a an issue with the ban. I don't know. The other option is we could nuke the Kaimar with the Georgette if we ban the Harima, and then he wouldn't be able to get the reset either. Okay, he it is the reset Kaimar. Oh da 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 Who's he gonna ban here? He's gonna ban Oh I'm going for the Harima ban. He's gonna ban Georgia. Nope, he's gonna ban Arbiter. Okay. If, as long as we can kill the um, the Wukong with the... Okay, we got the turn meter pushback. Oh, beautiful. Doesn't matter what she does here. She should be locked out because the Kaimar, yeah, it wasn't there to reset. Oh, good. I'm glad she didn't get the... I'm glad she was locked out because we didn't kill him with the single target attack. Um, so... That would have been a problem if she veiled him because he wouldn't have died. But he would have been locked out. It would have been fine. I think I think we still would have won, but it would have been more annoying. 
Now let me move my camera back on the other side. It's funny when you see literally people pick the exact same things against you. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, you, you know, obviously I make notes of everyone, everything that everyone is using. But I haven't fought that guy in a minute. And it's like, oh, he ran exactly what I have in my notes. So those are the only champions I've ever seen him pick against me, which is super funny. There is a lot, there's um, a lot of RNG in the ban phase there, because if I ban the Harima and he bans the Foley, we're gonna be in a little bit of an awkward situation where the Wukong, I don't have any way to deal with the Wukong. On the flip side, if I ban the um, Kaimar to get the lockout, or I ban the uh, Wukong, to try and, you know, assume he's going to ban the Foley and he bans the Georgian. Then we've got a Foley against Harima, which is always a really rough matchup. That's why I was kind of, um, I thought there was a strong possibility he would ban the, uh, hold on, let me, he goes, Taurus and Ethwi, Harima, Yumiko, CP, Kaimar. Uh, we're going to go Warlord. Um, I thought there was a strong possibility he was going to ban the Georgian which is why I went for the Harima ban, because I really did not want to end up in a scenario where we have um, Foley versus Harima, because it's just a tough matchup. Although Foley is not, like, don't get me wrong, Foley is bad against Harima, but it does come with the benefit of... What am I trying to say? It does come with the benefit of Foley can put decreased defense with his A1. So that can be good against Harima, especially since it was a word of fallen Harima. I feel like I'm committing to banning the UDK here, which is a little annoying. Oh, shoot. My notes say that, well, my notes say that Sifi will beat me in the speed race. But that was before... I got my Kaja, I think. Uh, I think our only real option is to ban this. Okay. I don't hate that, actually. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't love it. But we'll get the lockout. We should get some pushback. Or we should drop... We got the turn meter pushback on. Ooh. Well, that's actually fine. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we took out the. Um, I want to drop the word of the word of the fallen. What makes the most sense here? Do we go for the buff strip? Sure. We're gonna lose. Simi's locked out. Oh, why did he go? Why did he go for the Arbiter? He needed to go for the Quintus. Why did he revive the Rhodos? Um, I assume the Quintus is going to die. Oh, maybe I should have turn meter boosted the Quintus there. Shouldn't have his A3 yet. Did get the turn meter push back there.
I'm, I'm, oh, the Rotos went first. Weird choice, if I'm being honest. Really? He had that back already? Interesting to see what he does here if he goes for the Quintus again. He does. I think that was the right play. He must have got some sort of reset on the Kaimar there. A little surprised he hasn't revived the Taurus yet. Yeah, there we go. No, he didn't die. Interesting. Where is the... We can maybe get a turn meter push back here so that Kaja can go first. <laughs> uh, if I... I thought I was... Oh, wait. No, I don't have... I don't have it yet. I thought if... Um, I mean, maybe there's a crazy world where she doesn't die. No. Eh, GG. What I think I should have done in hindsight is... Is gone Staltus instead of Quintus and banned the Seafy and stunned. That would have been a better play. Uh, I know this guy. Furkjer. Has Hegemon, Wukong, Tormund, Hegemon, Mashaled, Astrolith. Oh, yeah, this guy's weird. Oh, we picked Arbiter. Interesting. I don't want to play this. Maybe we just go more again. Let's see what his second nuker is. Oh shoot, he's gonna go with Hegemon. Honestly, that might be fine. Let's see how this plays out. We're gonna go Blood Gorged. We'll see what happens here. The reason... What I'm thinking is... He, he, he's going to be in an awkward position, right? He kind of is going to have to ban the Kaja. Yeah. My Warlord is probably going to go either go before him, which is fine, or I'm going to get the Kaja to turn meter boost and put block debuffs, which is going to block the Astrolith from being able to deal with my team. Because he doesn't really... He, he, doesn't, he only picked one go first champion. I mean, okay, so he went with that. Interesting. I think we... Yeah, just make Warlord the lead. The question is, is his Warlord faster than everyone else on his team? It's possible that Warlord is not faster than everyone else on his team. Okay. So with Masha Led. I mean, Masha Led is. What's he gonna do? Yeah. Um... Like, this guy is not low rated, but his strategies make no sense.
I have no idea how this team was intended to win. He picks that against me every time. Like, wh why do you pick four nukers? I guess Mashalette isn't a nuker. Mashalette is over 450 speed. Or not 450, 350 speed. Well, maybe not. Because I didn't have an aura, so it could be like 320. Also, he definitely, definitely, definitely should have gone for the... Warlord, not the Georgian. Um, Warlord. Didn't know he had Warlord, actually. One interesting option we could do. Actually, Blood Gorge would have been a bad choice for this. I should have thought about this ahead of time. But one option we could do is just um, like go Necrit and ban the Do I have anything useful in Stone Skin? I think I've got to do this. If he's smart, he'll ban the Kaja. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. It's going to be an annoying fight. Don't get me wrong, but... to go for the Wukong Wee Wee Kit. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone um shouldn't have gone blood gorged. I think what I want to do actually is tank it. Or go fully. Would I rather have Warlord or Arbiter? I, I don't know. I kind of get the feeling that his Arbiter isn't that fast. I'm thinking we just run tanks. Ban the Wukong. I don't know. We'll see what he picks for the for his other nuker. He could go Astrolith, but interesting. Yeah, I think we're just gonna ban the Wukong. He should ban the Pythion, but he might not. Okay. The one downside of this team is that um, Kaja is what am I trying to say? Kaja, how did he get? What? How are they frozen? He has block debuffs. Not that it matters. I'm gonna cleanse, but. 
the Ragash being frozen. How does that make any sense? Oh, shoot, it is a nuker. I think we want to go here, yeah. Should only have his A1, which is not going to do much because we don't have any leech. Yeah, uh, I think there's no reason we can't just do that. Okay. All right. How are we doing on the leaderboards? 138. Did we win? We won three out of five? Anything better than 50-50 is good. ZT Sauce. I don't think I know this guy. I'm going to open Arbiter. I really want to get a, a second lockout. I really actually want uh, Night Queen Crixia more than anything, but I think Yumiko would be really nice too. I'm not pulling Voids, even though there's a progressive for Yumiko right now. But... It would be so nice to get a second lockout so that I could I could not have to first pick Warlord. I really want Crixia because I think that's going to be the only way I can get a lockout that has enough speed to keep up with Kaja once she is fully blessed and we get the Faction Guardians for Banner Lords done. Or if we get another copy of her. Like once, once she's at like 440 plus speed, which, even if I don't get any new gear, if I just get her blessings and her uh, get another copy of her, which could be hard, but we only need one more copy, and get the Faction Guardians maxed, she's going to be, like, ridiculously fast. I don't want to play this. Kind of just, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm actually thinking I might just ban the Wukong <laughs> over the Taurus, which is so funny. I, I like I, the way I was thinking is I could do it two different ways. We could pick Foley and ban Taurus, or we could pick Quintus and ban Wukong. The problem is if I pick Foley and ban Taurus and he bans the Wukong or the, the, yeah, if he bans the Foley, with this style of team with the Emic and the Mithrala, it's going to be tanky, and it's going to be hard to get back around to deal with the... Yeah, honestly, I think Kareem is fine. It's going to be hard to deal with... the Wukong. So I think we can just do this... We are going to A3, or we're going to, sorry, we're going to A2 with Georgid as the opener to drop the Ward of the Fallen on the Taurus and push turn meter back. That's going to also mean that we have our uh, A3 to use on Emic. We do have to survive the Harima for sure, but I think, oops, that's not what I meant to do, but I think Harima can, I think, um, think Kaja can do it. Yeah. Got a weak hit there, which is nice. Ooh, that's less than ideal. We might still be able to get the... Um, I think I need to save this. We might still be able to get the Georgia to go. I feel like I might as well do this before the Harima goes again. Oh man. Maybe I should have saved the Arbiter Revive. Damn. 
tire it. Can Kaja survive until she can get her revive back? That's what it's going to come down to. Probably because I think she's going to go before Harima. And yep, Harima should only have her A1 here. Hopefully we don't just lose everyone to... Okay, we got the turn meter pushed back. Oh no, Quintus doesn't have his um He doesn't have his A2! Ah, oh, bummer. The what we actually kind of got screwed there, or screwed by there, was Emic. No, not Marichka. Um, Thrall. Was the Life Harvest Blessing, which I honestly didn't even really think about that ahead of time. But that's, I mean, we were just losing all of our nukers to the supports because they were reviving with no health. I'm going to open with Arbiter. We'll do this. Could be a support Wukong. I am going to have to pick my nukers before I know his last nuker. So we got a Tormund. We got a Duchess. I think we just do this and Foley. Right now, we're leaning towards banning the UDK. If he picks a Rotos, I might have to ban that. Hegemon. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll have to ban the Hegemon. That is a little annoying because it puts me in an awkward situation where I can't eighth two with the Georgian as the opener. We'll just see if we can A3 the, the UDK. I mean, if he's smart, he's going to have put the UDK in. Actually, um, we could A1. No, let's just do this. Oh, Jesus. Nice. I'm super tempted to literally just A3 here, but let's not. thought about just straight up targeting the Tormund, but it, it doesn't matter. I don't really know why I killed it right there, because obviously he's going to revive it, but... I think we just do that. Oh, it's a uh, Swift Parry Duchess. I'm surprised how often I see Swift Parry Duchess. Shows up more than you think. All right. Oh, let's uh, make a note of that. It was Wukong, Hegemon, Tormund. UDK, UDK, who's the other one? Duchess. I've been thinking about maybe moving my Arbiter into a stone skin build. Not like a pure stone skin. I picked up a, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. My accessories from Hydra Clash yesterday were complete garbage. But I did get a High Elves amulet. And if I can get one more stone skin, I've been thinking it might make sense to run Arbiter in a um, one turn stone skin. I could still have her be like 390 speed, almost. I think it was like 387 or something. And that's before she picks up her last blessing, which would give her another 15. 
Uh, let's see, real quick. He's a known Warlord banner. He runs Rodos, Wukong, Tormund, Taurus, Duchess, Sifi, Yumiko. Uh, we'll open with Warlord, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about going one turn stone skin on Arbiter. See if he Duchess Yumiko is what I, what he's known to use. My notes say that Yumiko cuts in between Warlord and Kaja. So I might have to ban the Yumiko. It's honestly, it's this blessing is what kills me. He went with, with Tormund. Okay. We'll do this. See if he bans a Kaja. He does. Honestly, don't really care that much. need a turn meter push back on Sifi. We don't get it, unfortunately. We do destroy... We do push the turn meter back on both the nukers, though. So, should be fine. Interesting. He went with the... Um... With the pushback on... I think we do this. Okay. Oh, nice. We got the... Counterattack from the Tormund. I think Georgia's gonna go before the Tormund too, especially since we can get a turn meter pushback here. So I'm just gonna A1. this does that just have polymorph no she doesn't i think you know what let's just do this i'm gonna save the a oh okay yeah i was gonna say i'm gonna save the a2 Sifi, I mean, it, we didn't even get, the Sifi didn't even get a turn, but Sifi is a lot less of a threat if I can, with Quintus, just because Quintus can completely buff strip. We could have been screwed if I didn't get the turn meter pushback on the Warlord, but if we, like, if we got the turn meter pushback on the, we only had to get the turn meter pushback on one of them, on any one of them, actually. Like, if we got it on the Sifi, or the Tormin, or the Taurus, I think we would have been fine. Um, I fought this guy a ton of times. Uh, I was just reading my notes. Slow stone skin Sifi will ban Kaja and win the speed race with a plus two Lysandra. So I can't beat this guy in the speed race, actually. Because he has Shuzen, Kaimar, Lysandra, and Mikage. So we gotta be clever. I like to pick the Kaja just to threaten. He's known to use Garel, Rodos, Nishak. I'm like honestly surprised, given this guy's account, that he's not higher rated. Let's see.
Is this the best play? I feel like it might be one of my only plays. It's really tough when I can't win the speed race. Right now, I think I'm leaning towards banning the Geralt. I don't think the Lazarius is going to be able to kill anyone on my team. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Can we just ban the Shuzen? Oh, you know what? Actually, that might not have been the best idea. <laughs> I kind of forgot that they're uh, all mythical and they're going to have... The, the lockout isn't going to do anything. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. It's not the end of the world. We'll see what this Geralt can do to me. I forgot the Lazarius is a support Lazarius. Well, it's like kind of supporty, kind of not. What's really going to come down to is can the Geralt kill everyone? She doesn't have increased attack. Oh, wait. She's an HP-based nuker, right? Okay. That's good. Um, I think our best play is to do this. See if he should be locked out. We're going to lose Kaja probably to this Ronda unless she goes for the Staltus. I don't think she's going to go for the Staltus. Okay, she goes for the Warlord. That's kind of why I revived the Warlord, to be honest. Okay, it all comes down to this. Lazarius has a three-turn cooldown on his ability. Is that right? We'll go for the healing. Oh, I was hoping she didn't have that yet. All right, GG. I wonder what I could do there. Sky runs Rima, Rodos, Kenderfon, Stone Skin. Geral. I'm pretty much set that I'm not going to do my rebuilds until the free regear event I expect in two weeks. And that's what I'm going to build Tormund. Um, but we would be nice to have right now. This guy is known to use Harima, Rodos, Kandrafon, Warlord. Oh, wait, I got the Warlord. Arbiter, Pythion, Kage. Okay. I'm going to do this. I think we go Rotos. I think I ban the Arbiter. Probably ban the Warlord. That's the smart ban. Oh, okay.
Geralt's in stone skin, which is kind of a problem, but... I'm not sure how the Sifi is built. This is the first time I've seen him pick Sifi. So if it's a tanky Sifi, it's a problem. If it's a fast, it's a fast Sifi. Okay, good. Um, we can't stun anyone yet, so we'll go for the increased defense. Georgia's locked out. Okay, that's a bummer. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We'll bring the Rotos back. Go for the stun. Is the turn meter pushback really going to make any difference? Not really. He's going to kill the Rotos, probably. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But you can make it work. We really need to kill this Georgia like kind of quickly. Okay. We get the lockout on the Garrel again. Perfect. We get the Garrel kill as long as we can kill the Georgia here. Nice. Mm. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, that was clutch. That was clutch. I did not think we were going to win that at all. <laughs> you know what I really need to do, which would have helped in that fight, is if I um, re-change the ascensions on my... on my Kaja. Actually, to be honest, let's do that real quick. I've been waiting to do a lot of my ascension work for when the Hell Hades optimizer could auto-figure out ascensions. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see... Hold on. I think I had... Oh, do I have a bunch of crap I need to get rid of? Oh, this is from that new set. I wanted to... See if I could get a... An... Uh... I'm trying to say. I want to see if I could get a resistance banner with speed. Unfortunately, we have this attack, which is like not useful at all. Let's see, what would her resistance be? She's at 273. I don't really feel like that's enough. If I could get her in a resistance banner, I would actually be slightly tempted to keep the the resistance here and then we could get her to like four or five hundred resistance which might be enough to resist dps tormen like nuker tormen whoops i thought i had something that I, that could potentially be a triple roll but i think i might have already taken it up i already reworked this right oh no i didn't rework this do i rework this i'm gonna do it like don't get me wrong this is a decent piece but i don't need it I flat HP. Give me speed. Oh, yes! Dude, that is that is why we do that. Hell yeah, I think that's faster too. This one's 23, this one's 24. Oh, the only thing is I kind of don't want to use the glyphs on it. I do eventually, but I'm kind of wondering if, if this is worth the prioritization of the glyphs. Um... If we, or hold on, let's check the ascension, base ascension. Defense, that's fine. So. I don't have any other triples, right? Oh, this is a triple. I might have reworked this one already. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I don't have a ton of this chaos or yet left. Mm, I'm so torn. I'm going to do it. Resistance, defense. Mm -hmm. 
Someday I'm gonna kick myself when I have like no resistance for banner lords and I pull a Marichka or something, but I think it's fine. I think, actually, you know what I think I was doing? I think I was holding off on re-rolling these until after the Hydra Clash because I wanted to see if I could pick up a um, protection banner. Oh wait, you guys can't even see it. Oh, sorry, there's the, there's the roll. 24 speed, not bad. We do get one extra speed out of that too. And this is only, I think seven. So if I rolled it to eight, we'd get extra two. I have to think about that, whether it's worth it or whether I uh, want to prioritize getting more, using all my uh, plus eight glyphs on my Georgid. I can get like 20% more damage on his A3 by like making the most optimal build with plus eight glyphs on him. Oh, speaking of which, I got a couple other cool pieces of gear. Sorry, the fights are over, but oh, whatever. You guys can click off the video whenever you want. I want to show you a couple of cool pieces I got. Check this guy out. I rolled this guy yesterday. Not, no, wait, not this one. Uh, that's not a good one. Is it this one? Yeah, look at this guy. Not a bad piece at all. We've got crit damage. Obviously, we can change the ascension. We got crit rate, double speed, and attack percent. That's a pretty nice glove. But what really made me excited was this boot down here. Check this guy out. This is literally perfect stats you cannot get better stats than this boot like speed as the main stat or i mean attack percent might be whatever right but like speed is going to be the main stat i'm going to want on this particular champion because i'm trying to get him to go fast attack percent crit rate we triple rolled in crit rate too which is beautiful because that makes it a lot easier to get the crit damage gloves crit damage and then flat attack like cr attack percent crit rate Crit damage, flat attack is the best thing you can possibly get in terms of stats. Like, straight up. This is this is as good as it gets. And, like, maybe you could argue that if you quad rolled crit rate, that would be slightly better. But still, or maybe a little bit of crit rate and a little bit of crit damage over the attack. But I don't know. Honestly, like, you need all of these stats. And the fact that we didn't get any rolls into the flat attack... Beautiful piece, beautiful piece. I love this piece. Um, of course, you typically don't want to put speed boots on a nuker, but honestly, for like my Georgid, because he's, yes, he's a nuker. He's a really good nuker, but he's also a turn meter decreaser. Uh, that's a big part of the role that I have him in is making sure that he pushes the enemy turn meter back so that my second nuker can go and not get cut in on. So he needs to be really fast. And the faster Kaja gets, the faster he needs to be. So, you know, I've seen like there's that... Um, a screenshot of that guy with like a 348 speed Georgia. And it's like, yeah, that's kind of what you want to do. You want to make him super, super quick so that he can turn meter boost or turn meter pushback and be part of that whole speed tuned team. Um, so yeah, so that, that is a great boot to end up on Georgia someday. Um, but again, I'm waiting for the free regearing to rework it. So either way, we had good arena fights today. Let me just double check one last thing. What are we at on the rankings now? 136. Wow, we're moving up in the world. We won one, two, three, four, five, six out of 10. So a little bit better than 50 50. Can't complain. Uh, I'm going to do some more fights off stream, but that's going to be it. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.